Hello, my seafood loving friends. Today I'm going to make for you one of my favorite wild Pacific halibut recipes using halibut cheeks. If you haven't had a chance to cook with cheeks in a while, these are unbelievable. They're prized for their delicate, sweet taste and their incredible texture. I just love them. So we're gonna do this amazing recipe with pears and Pinot Noir. We're gonna make a little bit of a compote and to get that started, we need a small pot over here, about medium heat. We're looking to just slightly saute some shallots, like so. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. And while those shallots are getting started, we're gonna make a toasted sesame dressing. We're gonna take some fresh lemon juice. We're gonna take some Dijon mustard and then some tahini. We'll add a little bit of salt. And just when the shallots are about golden brown, we're gonna add diced pears. We're gonna add some champagne vinegar to deglaze just a little bit. Some black peppercorns, about a teaspoon of black peppercorns. Some rosemary, a little bit of honey, so we want it a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. And then we're gonna add some Pinot Noir. We'll then cook that over medium heat for about 12 minutes. We're preheating a pan over here. We have a nonstick pan that we're gonna cook our halibut cheeks in. But while that's preheating, we'll go back to our dressing. And we're now gonna add equal parts canola oil and then a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more salt, and then we'll leave that aside. While we go to the star of the show, the wild Pacific halibut cheeks. These are such a treat. Every time I get to cook one of these, I just feel really excited and lucky to be able to cook up something this delicious. The sweet texture and taste is extraordinary. And so because of that, I just want a little bit of salt, just a little bit of seasoning on both sides. and then we'll cook them in our preheated pan. We'll turn our pan down to about medium now that it's preheated. We're gonna add a little bit of canola oil. And the reason why you wanna use canola oil, it has a high smoke point. So that way you can cook your halibut cheeks in a hot pan, get a nice sear as soon as you put it in. And that's gonna make that caramelized golden brown flavor that you get from that roasted pan fried, pan seared technique. Now, the way I like to flip my halibut cheeks over, I wanna take them off the heat just a little bit. And this is the same for cooking any piece of wild Pacific halibut if you're pan searing it. So, once we've got about six minutes, three minutes per side, we're then gonna add a little bit of butter Again, we're just slightly off the heat here. We're gonna add some fresh thyme sprigs, just like so. And then we're gonna add a little bit of lemon. And then you can see what ends up happening is the butter melts, the lemon, the salt, the fresh thyme, all of those flavors are just extraordinary. And then we're just basting the halibut cheeks with that unbelievable flavor finishing the cooking process just like this with a little bit of basting. Then we take our absolutely beautiful halibut cheek, just like so. Look at that. Take our dressing. We spoon it around and then with our pinot and our honey, that dish is fast sustainable, delicious, and nutritious.